<coughs> or Dempsey McKean, congratulations. You've moved 21-0 in tonight's opener here at the O2 in London. Just give us your immediate thoughts on those eight rounds and your performance as well. Uh, it's good, you know. Um, it's the first full camp under Tony Sims, my new coach. So um, we're just going through the motions. But, you know, Bracamonte is a tough guy. You know, he went the 10 rounds with Romanov too, another former uh, world-rated uh, opponent too. So we knew he was going to be a tough customer. Had that tight guard. It was hard to pierce through it sometimes. But, um, you know, I'm happy with my performance. I think I showcased some good skills, some good fast hands and, um, you know, a bit of defence too. So all in all, I'm happy with it, but there's always room for improvement. Like you say, you wanted to showcase and, and catch the eye tonight <laughs> here on your UK debut and show what you've been working on with Peter and Tony. You touched on it there, but as a whole, uh, what, what's Tony said to you? Does, does he feel satisfied as well? Yeah, it's good. He gave good feedback in between the rounds, told me what I was doing right, what I needed to work on a little bit more, you know, just stand behind that jab. I think I went and held that centre ring, you know, that's where I was having most success. Some parts I started to abandon that a little bit, but, you know, that's the fight game, you know, you can't be perfect the whole way through. So as long as we can acknowledge that, move forward and work on that, you know, um, and keep improving, that's the main thing. You uh, arrived at the arena this evening with a massive smile on your face, just soaking everything up. When you look at the whole week and the build up to this fight for this UK debut, like I said, have, have you enjoyed that whole experience? It is, it's, it's awesome. You know, I had my first first fight on uh, the New Hampshire show in New, Ham uh, in New Hampshire in uh, last year, November, you know, so I got to experience a little bit more there. Obviously, this is a better venue here, a bit bigger as well, and um, it's awesome, you know, this, uh, this is where I belong, and I know I belong here at the top level, and fighting on these shows, and, you know, having the media days, the press conferences, the weigh-ins, and everything, and the build-up with it, that's, this is awesome, it's all part of the game, isn't it, so, and uh, you just got to soak it all in, because, you know, blink, and it's all going to be gone one day, so... It was a, a very bold move uh, for you to move from the sunny Gold Coast uh, up to rainy Essex, uh, let's be honest. But from a boxing perspective, do you, do you feel like you've found a new home for the, for the time being? 100%, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be hard to kind of go back from this as well, you know, they give some really good training and, and sparring here, the sparring just can't be beat, you know, we just don't have the, the quality of sparring back home and the abundance of it too, you know, the, the English are real in the heavyweight division at the moment, so to be over here and sparring these top level guys and mixing it up with them, you know, I'm only improving and I have improved a lot so far and this is, like I said, my first camp under Tony, you know, imagine another two, another three or a, a solid year under him, you know, as long as I'm improving and, you know, I'm happy. Let's just talk about the year ahead then, because you are well positioned, 11th, I believe, with the IBF and the WBO. You've said previously you want to progress <coughs> and that will mean facing someone above you in the rankings. A couple more fights with Tony and then is that the plan? That is the plan. That's what we want, you know. So I think we've got it with our contract. We've got another fight, quite a quick turnaround, you know. Um, as long as there's no injuries, no no setbacks or anything. So got a bit of a iffy hand from that last round. So got to get that checked out. But um, all in all, like I'm feeling good and feeling healthy. I'm ready for a rem uh, like a nice quick turnaround. And and then yeah, then we get um, another fight signed by the end of the year, and it's going to be a bigger name and a world-rated opponent, hopefully. And you know, then we're going to really showcase what we're made of. And you've talked about that top-level sparring. <coughs> One man you've sparred previously, of course, is Dillian White when he's preparing to face a southpaw we know he's facing Tyson Fury you can switch it have you been in contact with Dillian about maybe banking some more rounds yes yes I have actually they've, they've invited me over for the uh, the training camp obviously I'm a tall southpaw and Tyson Fury is the tall guy that likes to switch to southpaw too so um, just obviously as long as everything aligns with my next fight my training you know it doesn't impede my training too much you know we've got to focus on myself but you know I like Dillian Dillian's got a really good team out there as well and you know Portugal's pretty sunny as well so I wouldn't mind getting over there for another bit of a sunshine holiday and getting some good rounds in with Dillian too so and plus I want to help him as well I want to help him out and and do the best I can so he can kind of get that title you know I think he, he deserves it well and truly absolutely you get a great tan and some great experience Dempsey McKean enjoy the rest of tonight and well done to you thank you very much cheers